Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of officials where he affirmed the government's keenness to enhance the business environment and its continuous efforts to offer more facilities to grant commercial and investment licenses. He warned that delaying investment projects by stalling the issuance of licenses is not allowed in any way, stressing that it was detrimental to the civilized environment in Bahrain and the government will not tolerate it. His Royal Highness hailed Bahrain's development and investment environment as a result of the facilities and smooth procedures offered to business people and investors and the private sector's activities and keenness to participate effectively in the development process in light of the security and stability enjoyed by the Kingdom. The Premier pointed out his keen interest in knowing the aspirations and visions of business people, especially in light of the current commercial and economic conditions and possible achievements to simulate commercial and economic activity through partnership with the private sector. He also noted that the citizens' concerns and interests are always a priority within the government, especially in relation to living conditions, employment and other needs. His Royal Highness the Premier noted his keenness to address the concerns of the professions related to the various economic activities in order to overcome all obstacles. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today held an iftar banquet for senior officers and officials from the Ministry of Interior at the Public Security Officers Club. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was welcomed to the iftar banquet by the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Kingdom's security forces in protecting Bahrain's citizens, noting that the Kingdom's security is an important foundation of the comprehensive development program led by His Majesty King Hamad. His Royal Highness noted the Ministry of Interior's role in safeguarding the rule of law and the many sacrifices made by security personnel in the service of their nation. He further noted that many initiatives and programs being implemented by the Ministry of Interior, which further strengthens the concept of national identity and help preserve the Kingdom's strong social fabric. His Royal Highness exchanged Ramadan greetings with the Minister of Interior and senior officers, honored the sacrifices made by the Ministry of Interior Security personnel and commemorated the Kingdom's fallen servicemen who sacrificed their lives for the protection of Bahrain and its citizens. On behalf of the Ministry of Interior, the Minister of Interior expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's support to the Kingdom's security forces and wished Bahrain further prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Interior further stressed that Ministry of Interior's personnel will continue to loyally serve their nation and pursue the highest standards of excellence in their work in order to effectively maintain the safety and security of the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the iftar banquet.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening visited the Majlis of Khalid Al Sharif, the Majlis of Kazaruli family and the Majlis of the sons of the late Rashid Abdul Rahman Al Zayani. His Royal Highness praised the achievements reached by the collective efforts of Bahraini citizens under the Kingdom's comprehensive development program led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince underscored the diversity of Bahrain's identity, which represents a factor of strength and unity. His Royal Highness affirmed that the recent oil discovery will open new horizons for progress and prosperity, highlighting that the kingdom's non-oil sector is achieving the fastest growth in the region. He noted the importance of the next two years in building a stronger and more resilient economy, highlighting that only through collective efforts will Bahrain successfully reach its sustainable development goals and turn challenges into opportunities. The Crown Prince loaded Bahraini youth for their entrepreneurial spirit, their commitment to innovation and excellence, and their contributions to a growing private sector that has become the main engine of development. In this regard, His Royal Highness emphasized that Bahraini youth are deserving of the opportunities generated through an expanding economy. He stressed the importance of continuing to strengthen Bahrain's priority sectors to increase growth, diversification and the resilience of the kingdom's economy. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain has succeeded in decreasing unemployment rates and continues to prioritize housing services within the kingdom's development program, noting that large numbers of housing units have been allocated across Bahrain within the past period. His Royal Highness emphasized that the private sector is an important partner in the Kingdom's development as evidenced by increasing collaboration between the public and private sectors across a range of strategic projects. The Crown Prince added that Bahrain has also succeeded in creating an economic environment that attracts investment, prioritizes innovation and enhances opportunities for the Kingdom's citizens. His Royal Highness outlined that the Kingdom is implementing a 32 billion US dollar infrastructure development program which includes the expansion of the Babco refinery, the development of Bahrain's international airport and the Alba Line 6 project, all which will support diversification and drive sustainable growth that benefits citizens. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes on the holy month of Ramadan, while affirming that the sustainable development is centered on ensuring future generations are able to benefit from the Kingdom's long-term development.
The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, has signed an agreement to implement the Long Stay Care Center under the Ministry of Health with Saudi company Saleh Abdullah Al Mahanna Establishment. This comes in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, within the general plan developed for a medical complex in Muharraq to meet the needs of citizens and develop health services in the region. The first stages of the project will cost 11 million and 600,000 Bahraini dinars, funded by the Saudi Fund for Development, and will start its implementation during the third quarter of this year. The project is part of the first phase of the Gulf Development Program under the financing agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Saudi Arabia in March 2014, which covers the cost of building the center, all facilities and external works. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar, awarded the first three units of Salman City, granted by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to beneficiaries during the city's inauguration ceremony. The Minister affirmed that the distribution of Salman City housing units is a major event, especially for the Ministry's affiliates, as it's considered the final stage of the new city's construction process. Minister Al Hamar stated that as a result of His Majesty's granting of the first three units to the beneficiaries, these units have had been fully furnished. He asserted that the next stage will witness the distribution of the completed housing units in the city in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier. The Minister noted that the completion of the allocated units will be granted to beneficiaries. He asserted that in line with the government action plan, the ministry will intensify the work in the project's remaining stages to increase productivity in the unit numbers and infrastructure. The Ministers of Information of the countries calling for combating terrorism held a meeting yesterday in Abu Dhabi in line with intensifying coordinating work to guarantee the unification of efforts to combat extremism and terrorism in the region and around the world. Media and intellectual elites participated in the meeting to benefit from expertise and potentiality of the quartered countries as well as exchange ideas that serve their joint vision to counter the support and financing of terrorism and extremism. The ministers affirmed the important role of intellectuals in influencing the public opinion of societies and the necessity to unify efforts between media, intellectual and research organizations to achieve their goals and protect the community from extremist ideologies. They stress that terrorism and extremism are based on ideological and financial foundations. The attendees discussed means of increasing media cooperation and coordination between the quartered countries and updating media perceptions to address the region's challenges. The ministers noted the necessity to counter media and ideological attempts that interfere in the internal affairs of the region. The participants called to focus on the new idea and tools of social media, stressing the need to develop strategies that increase positive content. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ali bin Mohammed Al Rumehi, the Minister of State and Chairman of National Media Council, Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed Sultan Al Jabir, the Saudi Minister of Culture and Information, Awad bin Saleh Al Awad, and Chairman of Egypt's Supreme Council for Media Regulation, Makram Mahmoud Mohammed.